Hello everyone, welcome to B4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create your own custom event in your custom module. So uh, we all know how to subscribe to an event which is already in core or in country module. So now we are going to see about how to create your own custom event. Okay. So first you need to create a custom module. So I have a custom module which is already created. So in this you have to create a folder called uh, SRC. SRC. Inside that you have to create a one more folder that is event. So in this file you are going to mention uh, what event file this is. Okay. So I already have a code. So I'm just going to copy paste and I will explain you everything. So this is my uh, event code. So create a new file that is user login event dot php file. So in this file, I'm copying the code which I already have. So here you can see uh, create a class name. It is the same of file name. So here I'm added the new space and then a namespace. Sorry. And here I included the class called event. So whenever you are defining your own event, you have to make sure that you are including event here. Okay. And here I'm using user objects. So I included the user interface here. And then here you have to define a constant name, constant name that is a name for your event. So here the event is custom event user login. So I am going to dispatch this event when the user getting logged into my system. Okay. So I'm going to use the current user account. So here you can see I defined a variable. So in constructor, I am just defining a variable which I am getting in the constructor. Okay. This I will get in my, in my dispatch function. So from dispatch function, I will be passing the account object here and that will be set here. Okay. So now we created a custom event and save it. Now go to your module root and create a file, module file. So custom underscore events dot module. So once you've created here, you are going to create a hook of hook user login. So from that, you are going to uh, dispatch your event which you created. So copy and paste it here. So here uh, I just included the event which I created that is user login event. So to use my constant variable here and then I'm going to initialize the object for my event. Okay. So here I'm using the hook user login and by, by default people will give you the account object in this. So and then I'm creating the object with the argument of account in my event and then I am calling a event dispatcher service. From that service, I am dispatching an event that is user login event event uh, name. So user login event name, I am dispatching this event now and I am passing argument of event object to this. Okay. So now we uh, created your own custom event and we initialized that event in your user login. Okay. Whenever user login, this event will get dispatched. Okay. After that, you now we are going to create an event subscriber in the same module to use the hook user login event. Okay. So for that, you have to create a event subscriber. Before that, you need to create a services.yml file. So that is custom underscore events dot services dot yml file. So in this, you have to define a services. So as I already mentioned in previous videos, this will be same like service initialization, but you will have extra tag argument here. In tag, you will be passing that is a event subscriber. Okay. So now we initialized event subscriber uh, services. Here you can see I am creating an event subscriber folder. Inside that, I am going to have my subscriber. Okay. And I am passing the tag of event subscriber. Okay. Now go and create an event subscriber folder here so even subscriber inside that i'm going to have this file so user login subscriber dot php file so in this you are going to have the code so paste it here so here you can see i have added the namespace 
and then my event name uh, namespace that is uh, user login event which I created. Okay, after that, as I already mentioned, whenever you are using, you are creating an event subscriber, you have to implement this interface. Okay, event subscriber interface. And in the uh, get subscriber event, you have to mention the event name, which event you are going to use in this type. I'm going to use the event name constant variable from this class. So which means that is custom event user login. So whenever that login, that uh, uh, user login event get dispatched it will call this function that is on user login so in this function what i'm doing i'm just uh, in database i just uh, initialized a database services and then initialized date formatter service and here i am fetching the user information when the account is created by using the event object in the event object i am having an account variable right so when you are in your module file, you are passing the event object, right? So event object is made with the argument of account. So you can get the account information in the event object. And then uh, here you will get a user ID. So I am passing that as a condition and I'm getting the created key. So when the account is created and here I have added a text that welcome your account was created on this date, okay? For this date, I am using a formatter to show the date in short, okay? So date in short format, okay? Now save and then now go to your uh, instance and install the module. So that is custom events. Custom events. So enable install. Now our custom module is enabled. Uh, now just log out. So since I already mentioned, this will get dispatched when you log into a Drupal instance. So I just logged on and I'm going to log in again. So it is username password. So once you logged in, you can see welcome your account was created on so so date. So you can see welcome your account was created on the date. Okay, so the date format short is coming from uh, date and format here. So here for short, so here you can see uh, this is the short date format. Okay, so when you edit, you can see the machine in here short. So whatever format we have defined here, the same format uh, the date will be printed in your printer. Okay. So by using your date formatter service, okay. So this is how you have to create your own custom event and subscribe to your custom event in your custom model, okay. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.